we're doing a forensic dig. Try and keep it from collapsing as much as possible. We're going to be using everything we've learned throughout the year on um, how to identify a person in a forensic setting and how to use archaeological methods to dig them up and then once we have dug them up to identify them. Run your hand through it. Yep. See if you find anything that doesn't look like a rock. You get to actually experience what it would be like in the field to find a body or a scene and uncover what's there. When you're digging up the bone and you've got the brush around it, you just want to go in there and take it out. But you can't. You have to go slowly around it and you have to expose every aspect of it, take pictures, record it, the measurements. And in reality, you just want to take it out and just put it in there and then go find out what happened. But it's so much more time consuming than that. There it goes. It's interesting that. Um, for the real forensic anthropologists that they're giving a voice to people that don't have it. So I think that's really cool and then you get to play in the dirt and dig up bones. So. I like excavating, I like digging and I like discovering what's underneath and it's just a lot of fun. And hanging out with people too. You get to know your classmates a lot more than you would in a lecture style class. Oswego has a, has a really good anthro program. Once I took an anthropology made, uh, class my second year here, I fell in love with it and decided to switch majors. I took archaeology with Dr. Pippin last year and we came down here for three weeks and we did this and it's different but it's the same and it's just a lot of fun.